step on. Remember per radio with your host, Gen T. Fuck, I don't know what, what the fuck. Yeah, fuck it. Jen is a warlord. I'm fucking coming for you. Now I feel poo coming out of my bum. So it's, 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 it's a lot right now. Yeah, it's a lot. I used to believe everything I'd see on the news. But that's before I discovered a brain. A brain is meant for everyday use. Those living with moderate to severe stupidity have seen immediate improvement in common sense with a brain. I thought the government had my best interests at heart. And then a friend told me about a brain. Talk to your doctor about what news sources you obey. A brain may also lower your desire to take life-altering advice from celebrities. Getting lecture about my carbon footprint from people with three private jets used to make sense. But thanks to a brain, now I can think for myself every day. When my disregard for third grade biology began to flare up, I knew it was time for a brain. Do not try a brain if you're allergic to a brain. Common side effects may include accountability, discernment, homeschooling your kids, a better understanding of economics, awareness of the stupidity of socialism, and diarrhea. For tethering yourself to reality, the only no-brainer is choosing a brain. Ask your doctor if a brain is right for you. For more information, visit tryabrain.com. Oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Ramble Up Radio. I am your host, Jen T. Twitter and Instagram at Jen T. Five, two, three. Yeah. This show is brought to you by a brain. <laughs> Psych. Oh, he's got the brain damage. So here I am. So. Let me start off by saying I am terribly sorry that once again this podcast is late. I mean, the gates of hell opened up upon me and my schedule and just completely decimated any moment of free time I had this weekend. So this is me starting you off with a new week of silliness, (laughs) of absolute (laughs) preposterous proportions. Of my life. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, man. Fuck oh, man. you! Oh. You have mental problems. I, you, you know, have some, you need attention. You need something. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Oh. Fuck hey. you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> You have mental problems, you have something. You know, you per need as usual, it, you I need don't something. think it would be a, it wouldn't be a treat to go to work if I knew I wasn't walking into complete and utter chaos. <laughs> <laughs> this week we have, well, not one, but two, but two, 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 two people putting in their two weeks notice. <laughs> And are you surprised? I certainly am not. Because, you know, this is what happens. You get good workers and you don't pay them and then they leave. The cycle continues until there's no one left. (laughs) But me, and I've come up with a solution. Since I will probably be the only one left until I get my black belt, how about y'all pay me $30 an hour and I'll just do everything. I'll uh, run a register, and I'll uh, stock shelves, I'll throw out dairy stuff, I'll uh, face the steaks, I'll uh, put up, stack up the watermelons, I'll make the juice, I'll get carts. (laughs) 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 Just give me $30 and no closing shifts, no weekends. (laughs) I'll do everything. (laughs) <laughs> so, you know, one of these I knew she was going to quit because she had been going, she had been in the gulag with my terrible coworker. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Coworker, you know, she's going through some really, really, really hard stuff right now. Some, some some tough family things are happening. And, you know, my work, of course, is never sympathetic about anything. So uh, they proceeded to give her a hard time about her, her you know, 
family emergency stuff going on and which is pretty gross um you know uh i don't know what you're going to think you know i don't i don't i don't know what you think someone's reaction is going to be when they're having a family emergency and you are going to give them a hard time about coming to work um they don't give a fuck clearly they're trying to tell you they got a family emergency that means they got a family emergency ta ta no questions asked. If I'm in charge and somebody tells me family emergency, ah, say less. Goodbye. Arrivederci. Uh, bon voyage. Hope everything's okay. Goodbye. Keep me posted if there's any changes or if you need to stay away longer, whatever. Because a good manager wants people to be happy, wants workers to be happy. You should work with your workers. But if you are the management that thinks, I am the boss, my way or the highway, I will not work with you. That is your way. Then people are like, hey, cool, you don't want to work with me? I don't want to work here. Goodbye. Fuck you. Fuck you. you. Fucking pricks. And that's what's Fuck going on. You. So um, she's been having a family thing going on. And she has said, hey, this is what I need. And they were like, hey, cool, we don't care. Um, and let's just keep doing what we're doing. So then she's just like, cool. Uh, then I'm just going to go get a whole new job. <laughs> <laughs> and it's their damn fault because, you know, once again, we're losing uh, an, a staffer that does many things, is good for the company. But because this other person was unwilling to work with them. And then on top of unwilling to work with them, force them to work with my shitty coworker who treated them like dog shit. And quite frankly, uh, my, my coworker was like, I'm not putting up with this bitch. Like you need to do something about her or I'm out. And then they were just like, well, then we'll just pull you out. And you know, that only hurt them. Uh, in the long run, because if they would have just listened to the complaints and been more respectful and tried to work with her, um, that uh, she would still be working for us. But now she has found a better job and good for her. And once again, um, you know, they will never learn. <laughs> but I'm here for all of it, you know. <laughs> I've got my popcorn, my, my marshmallows, me and my graham crackers and my chocolates. And I'm just hanging out by the campfire watching the madness unfold, you understand? Now, of course, this madness does affect me uh, from time to time, so that sucks. But uh, in the meantime, you know, I am... Full steam ahead with my jujitsu goals, and I know at the end of the day, once I get my black belt, rave it dirty, baby. I'm out of there, Jack. <laughs> Joke off. Don't care. Place burns down. Don't care. Don't care. So, but in the meantime, I'm rolling with the punches, and you know that's what I do best. But I just found it completely preposterous that you know this could have been handled way differently. Um, and that, uh, you know, we're losing a good staffer because of the unwillingness from management to work with this individual and quite frankly, have some fucking sympathy for crying out loud. But, uh, anyhow, uh, then that brings us to the next person, which was unexpected. I thought for sure this individual was in line to get the company tattoo on their arm. Uh, but no, but no, this person pulled an ultimate fast one and was like yo i'm out and uh of course um she was expecting management to be like is there a way we can get you to stay or can we offer you some more money uh no it was like oh this is your resignation later cool bye <laughs> <laughs> They didn't even try and fight for me. Like, they didn't even ask me if I wanted to stay or anything. And I was like, well, what did you expect? You know, my thought is this place doesn't give a fuck. This, this company doesn't care. Um, their motto is everyone is replaceable. So if you're leaving, they're just going to replace you with someone else. They do not care about you. So I think it's amazing that uh, this individual has found another job and, um, they are going to kill it. And uh, once again, it sucks. <laughs> there goes everybody scrambling again. <laughs> As if we weren't scrambling enough, now we scrambling again. 
So, but um, like I said, because the motto is everyone is replaceable, they're not too concerned about it. So, like I said, I'm going to sit back and watch. And speaking of sitting back and watching, you know, I, this was kind of a crazy week. Um, I had a, a prankster call and uh, say uh, that they had Down syndrome and they wanted to know the best vitamin C to take for Down syndrome. But, uh, you know, it was a terrible, terrible accent. And, of course, I knew that it was a fake call because when I walked by the phone and it started ringing, um, this individual who crank called was standing right next to it and he goes, oh, because somebody's got to answer that phone. And I was like, hmm, well, you don't work here. You're a customer. So why would you care that the phone's ringing? And I went, oh, yeah, that's you calling the store. But I'll answer it because I don't have anything else to do and I need material for the show. So I was like, oh, how can I help you? And they're like, uh, 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 I want to know the best uh, vitamin C to take because I have Down syndrome. <laughs> yeah, I have Down syndrome. And I was just like, mm, okay, well, any vitamin C will work. And I did not. I did not laugh. I didn't change my tone. I just was like, yep, any vitamin C will work. Yeah, but we win. I want to know which one will work best. And then I could hear him giggling in the background. And I was just like, hmm, yeah, any vitamin C will work. Drop it in water and drink it or put it in your mouth. But I have Down syndrome. <laughs> I have Down syndrome. <laughs> and then so he hung up the phone. And then so I proceeded to walk to the uh, aisle. I want to say it was like 10 or 11 that he was on giggling. And I just looked at him. I was just like, I just stared at him. And then I start, proceeded to walk down the aisle and he got scared. He froze. This motherfucker froze. I mean, this guy looked like, you know, when you get caught red handed with some cocaine, but you, you don't have a toilet to flush the stuff. You are surrounded. The jig is up. You're busted. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> so I just looked right at him and walked toward him super fast. And then I walked right by him. Just to fucking scare the piss out of him. I was like, yep, I know it was you. And I'm going to scare the fuck out of you right now. Watch this. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, buddy. Yep, yeah, I got you. Got him. <laughs> uh, but, um, <sighs> man, I had to go through the gulag. You know, because I don't know. I've told y'all before. Um, my black fam, sometimes we got beef and I think it's because I am able to restrain myself a little bit better than they are. And then there's just some that are just so hood, they cannot contain themselves. And I don't really like to be around too many hood as black people because it's always trouble. There's always commotion. There's always noise. It's always unnecessary. And so I was minding my own business <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> bitch fucking real housewives of atlanta rolled up some major parks looking lady rolls up and was like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay what's the best what's your number one best skin formula over here <laughs> and i was like I was like, wait, what? Mm, I said, uh, what is your best skin formula? Your number one best seller over here. I want to know. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck kind of question is that? And I was like, mm, well, I mean, we have a lot of best sellers over here, ma'am. No, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. What I said was y'all number one best skin seller over here. Which one is number one? You got to know you work here, right? <laughs> I was like, hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I work here. But um, I said, you know. I'm going to need you to be a little bit more specific because number one bestseller is very broad. 
So that means you don't know, huh? That means you don't know. You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know the number one best skin seller over here. Okay, just say that. Just say that. I was like, mm, that's not what I said. I said, I need you to be a little bit more specific, as in is the number one best foot cream. Do you want the number one best hand cream? We got categories over here, bitch. Do you want the number one best eye cream? Do you want the best foot cream, hand cream, face cream? What are we talking about? You need to be specific. She went, oh, okay, okay. So you can't tell me. So you can't tell me what the number one best skin seller is over here. Okay, I duly know it. Fine. I just thought I was going to get some help, but I'll find out myself. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, wait, hold up. Hold up, Shanae. <laughs> 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 oh, Stop playing. I'm on with that bullshit. Is I like here, Shanae? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was like, hold on, wait a minute, Shanae, what are you talking about? You need to tell me for what body part, and then I can tell you which one is number one. This is easy. The, which one is the number one acne one? Boom, I'll tell you. It's right here. Which one is the number one eye cream? Here it is. I'll tell you. Which one is the number one foot cream? I'll tell you. But you got to be more specific than skin. There's skin all over your body. What part are you talking about? Mm, never mind, never mind I just find it myself Never mind, I just thought you would know Because you work here, but clearly you don't Never mind And I was like, okay, here you go Here's the best skin seller right here And I pointed to the entire fucking aisle one I was like, this whole fucking section right here This 40 fucking feet Fuck all you All the way down To the left, Fuck to the end you. of the fucking meets <laughs> Fuck you Have a nice day mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, thanks I was just like, what? What? How? How are you giving me attitude? Yes, you asked me a question. What is the number one best skin seller? I got you, fam. What are you using it for? And I can tell you. I'm sorry that we have categories here in a normal store. Fuck I'm sorry you. this isn't Sally's Fuck Beauty Supply you. and you just put whatever you see on your fucking Fuck face. You. I'm trying to give you the best one. And in order for me to give you the best one, I need to know what it's for so I can recommend the best one for what you're trying to do. That's all I was trying to tell her. And she did not want to hear it. She was like, no, no, I guess you don't know. I was just asking the number one best skin seller. I guess you don't know. I'm like, well, I guess you don't know that you have skin all over your body. It's called the epidermis, bitch. Epidermis is not the name of your friend that you go to Popeyes and get wings with. Epidermis is your skin. <laughs> 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 and you need to tell me, is it for your ojos? Is it for your piernas? What is it for? That's all. Then I can give you the best recommendation. Did not want to fucking hear it. So I was like, cool, whatever. I'm out of here. Bye. I was just like, Jesus fucking Fuck Christ. You. you are a mental patient. Fuck it's fucking you. Weird. I never Fuck I you. ever go to a grocery store and be like, what's your number one best seller? And just ask, what's the number one best seller in the store? Like, be specific. I, if I'm in the TV section, I'm not going to go, uh, what's your number one best seller uh, in the store? I'm going to say, which TV with 1080p with, that's between this amount of inches is your best-selling company? Which one is your best-selling brand that is a 40-incher? Which one is your best-selling brand 80 inches? Specifics. They matter. So I was just like, girl, mm, you don't know the details. That's not my problem. Don't get mad at me. So, but uh, the, the, uh, the icing on the cake, this is definitely customer of the week. I had to help. (laughs) 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 Oh, man, I had to help a lady known as the hyena of Auschwitz. That's right. Even though she died in 1945, <laughs> this bitch apparently came back to life and hopped in the DeLorean and came to my work. It was rude as fuck. Racist as fuck. Rude as all hell. Uh, Irma Gris, a.k.a. Irma Gert, 
Elise Ida Gris. Er, Fucking Nazi guard from Auschwitz. You know of Auschwitz. So the reason why I call this lady that, because she literally looked like her. And then when I noticed, I saw her, her mouth open because she's so old, she can't even hold her mouth open. <laughs> and her teeth were all rotted out. And uh, her skin was barely hanging on for dear life. I mean, we're at, we're at the 90s and she was not looking like 90. It was more like dead. <laughs> Just flat out dead. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was not trying to be judgy until we bumped into each other. And I was like, oh, excuse me. I'm just trying to get by you. And then um, she's like, I am trying to get by you. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, I'm just going to step to the side here and, and, and get behind you here. She's like, you are in my way. Please move. And I was like, oh, that's odd because... You're actually walking on the English side. So, you know, when people walk on the left and this is America, we drive on the right. You know what I'm saying? Like this bitch was walking on the left and I'm like, okay, well, you're actually walking into incoming traffic right now and I'm trying to help somebody else. So you're actually blocking us right now. Fuck you. I said, you. we're trying to get by Fuck you. Fuck you. Excuse us. Fuck you. You are in my way. You. Please move. And I was like, Okay. I'm going to move now, and I hope you do too. And then I just literally jumped towards her like I was fucking LeBron about to shake this bitch up. I literally fucking popped out of the pocket. I was about to hit this 20-foot jumper <laughs> right in front of this bitch's face. And uh, she walked away, and I already knew that she was going to need help. And I was like, I hope to God this bitch needs help because I already know. I could tell by how she was speaking to me. I just caught a weird racist vibe from her. She didn't even want to look me in the eye. She was telling me it was my fault that I was in her way. So I was like, mm, all right, well, here we go. <laughs> so I was just bracing myself. So as soon as I got done helping uh, my customer, I, I left and I waited in the back office until they paged uh, for vitamins to the front. And I said, I already know he's for the hyena of Auschwitz. <laughs> 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 I already fucking knew. So as I'm walking to the front, I say, hello, how can I help you? And she ignores me. And then she sees uh, my Caucasian coworker come up. And she goes, I need some help in the vitamins. And then uh, my coworker was like, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't work in vitamins, uh, but she does. And she goes, no, I want you to help me. She goes, uh, okay, well, uh, I actually have to go work in my department, so uh, I'm going to give you to Jen, and she knows about the vitamins, and she's going to help you. Here she is. She goes, no, I need somebody else. <laughs> and then uh, she walked up to another Caucasian cousin <laughs> worker of mine and was like, help me. I need some help. And then even she was like, um, yeah, I, I paged Jen. She works in the, the vitamins. She's going to help you. No, I want you to help me. And then my coworker's like, sorry, I don't, I don't work over there. I, I work at the register. She's like, hmm. Well, is there anyone else to help me? And I was like, hi, how can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> I gave her my best white people shop worker voice. I was like, hello, how may I assist you today? <sighs> and I was like, you racist motherfucker. With your rotted ass teeth looking like fucking the Crypt Keeper over here. Fucking get out of here. <laughs> Hyena of Auschwitz, get out of here. <laughs> She's like, I need help in the vitamins. And I was like, I'm fully aware. How may I assist you? Well, I need to know where the ginkgo biloba is. And I was like, well, it's in our brain section right over here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, here it is. She goes, which one? Which one? And I was like, which one did you have before? <laughs> it's green. And I was like, oh, looks like we only have... These two green ones right here. Anything else I may assist you with today? 
<laughs> no. And I was like, have a nice day. God bless you. And that's like, whenever you drop the God bless you bomb, that's like the ultimate send off. They fucking lose it after you throw the God bless you on them. It doesn't matter if they're religious or not. If you end the conversation with God bless you, they cannot come back to that. I promise you. You can go, you can say whatever you want. And then you go, you know what? God bless you. Have a nice day. Ta-ta. And they go, ah! For some reason, the God bless you shuts them down. <laughs> so I was just like, anything else today, ma'am? God bless you. Have a nice day. And I was like, bye, bitch. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> I hit her with the God bomb, which is like I learned from my coworker, Oscar. That's like the ultimate. That's like the nuke, man. That's the final send off. Because if you drop the God bless you bomb. They have no choice but to either shut up or be even nicer than God bless you. And they are so thrown off by you throwing the God bless you in there. They're like, oh, oh, you, you. (laughs) 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 They have nothing. They have nothing in the tank. They can't like go, oh, well, God bless you too. Like it doesn't work. It, It You've taken the power away. And that's what I wanted to do because I could tell this bitch was like, either used to be in a position where she just gets to tell people what to do or be disrespectful to uh, persons of color or minorities. But all she wanted help from was white people. And every single white person was like, I can't help you. She can. The black girl. She can. Mm, I want you to help me. Oh, yeah. A sprickin' zee dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, 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 G-Ma. Ashwitz is closed, fam. I I hate to break the news to you, but y'all lost the war. And uh, just say no to racism. (laughs) God bless you. (laughs) Some current of ambience. Some current of ends. Ooh, since we last talked... Uh, apparently, Uncle Joe Biden has stepped down and Sister Kamala is running for the president. And, uh, you know, there's not really a whole lot you can do with politics. But, you know, I will bring up this very important clip because it touches my heart every time I listen to it. And I and I believe that, uh, you know, you will consider this a, a gem also. Suckers. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. It's a total ban on the the, the, the the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look, you're the sucker. You're the loser. You're the loser. You're the sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. You're the sucker. You're the loser. You're the sucker. You're the sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. You're the sucker. You're the loser. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus. You know, politics. What a fucking joke, man. It's kind of crazy. Um, I was at my parents' house and uh, my mom was like, three choices. Like, super aggressive. Like, I was like, whoa. Trump? Joe Biden or Kamala? Or Kennedy. And I was like, none of the above. (laughs) 
see, that's how you know I'm third party because everybody thinks you have to choose what's in front of you. And sometimes the simplest solution is none of the above. Hello. Like, we just forget. Like, people go, oh, you got to vote for the lesser of two evils. I'm like, or maybe not. Maybe you can vote third party. It Maybe try it. Maybe if, like, all of us that were bitching, like, oh, these two momos suck. Like, what if all of us, like, just went, cool, what's this, third party? Boom. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. Everybody's got to vote for their team. And people don't want to take a chance on something new. They're scared. I get it. It's it's cool, man. You know, but for the rest of us who are brave and are independent and in, in, in such, you know, I've already made my decision, and it is definitely not Republican or Democrat. <laughs> and I don't care if it, that's a throwaway vote to you. Then God bless you. Um, to me, I feel it's a throwaway vote to vote for uh, two individuals. I I don't I do not care for or believe. I'm sorry. I just. When I listen to people that are third party, I'm like, hey, the things they're saying, saying, the things they're saying make sense to me. Those are the things that I would vote for. So, but anyhow, you know, enough with the politics because well, what the hell? Uh, my life is not going to change. Uh, the only way my life changes is the things that I do to my life or the people that I have in it. And speaking the people in it, uh, you know, the reason why this podcast is late is because uh, I had to help my friend with a photo shoot for his band. And, you know, I'm going to tread lightly because, you know, things happen. And, um, hmm, <laughs> like for starters, uh, I was told a certain time and then uh, uh, for them to arrive two hours after the time that was told to me was a bit of a bummer because, you know, I sat in a hot, uh, I sat in a hot car for two hours and then finally it was just like, I'm going to fucking go home. Like, I'm doing this to help y'all out. What, the, what in the actual fuck? Uh, but once they arrived, I had a good time. So I was just like, you know what? Um, rather than get pissed off and, and pouty that, you know, I had to wait two hours past the time my friend said he was going to meet me, um... Instead, I took that as as a a valuable lesson, and I'm going to apply that to my life. And how am I going to apply that? I'm going to remember that every time that I'm late, when I tell somebody I'm going to be somewhere and I'm late, I'm, I'm taking time away from them, their precious time. They have set out a time, a block of time to spend time with me, and it is not fair to them when you're late. So... I was like, man, you know what? Instead of getting mad at my friend, I'm going to take this lesson and be like, oh, how can I apply this to my life? Don't complain about it. Everything happens for a reason. This was a valuable lesson. Like, this is how people feel when you're late to meet them. And I'm like, this fucking sucks. And of course, I'm not two hours late because that's just downright disrespectful. Don't even bother to show your fucking face. Um, (laughs) But it's more like, you know, I'll be 10 or 15 minutes late. You know what I'm saying? But not two hours. Two hours is, I'm not coming at all. (laughs) So, but uh, the point is, I was like, you know what? I'm going to apply this lesson to my my life. Instead of getting all crazy with my friend and being like, yo, what the fuck? Why are you two hours late? Or this, that, and the other. I'm just like, hey, it's cool. Let's do this thing. Let's take these pictures. Let's get you set up. And I learned a lesson as well, too. Will I bother to tell you about it? No. (laughs) No, because that lesson is for me. And that is, hey, it's not cool when you're late. Don't do that to people, especially if you don't like it being done to you. Perfect. Cool. Duly noted. (laughs) Uh, Let's see what else I got for you. Oh, that's what it was. So uh, entrepreneur escaped her former Amish upbringing. Um, and this is a Amish community known as the Schwarzenbrüder Amish community in Ohio. And apparently, one of the things that they were only allowed to do, well, there's plenty of no-nos, but particularly this one was, you were only allowed to bathe one day a week. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, what? Oh. There was no electricity, no plumbing, and she had to use strips of newspaper for toilet paper. (laughs) 
Her family owned a horse and a cart instead of a car. And she was told she may never marry outside of the Schwartz and Tuber group. Good Lord. Oh. Oh. She escaped. Thank God she fucking left. Because uh, there's a thing in the Amish community. I think it's known as Rumspringa, where uh, it is like your chance to uh, decide if you still want to stay in the co- Amish community. And so I think for like your your 16th birthday or 17th birthday, like they let you leave for a little bit and then you can decide if you want to come back or if you're like done, you're like out. And uh, some people leave and don't come back. Some of them do. That's what's shocking. They're like, oh, the world is too scary. I need my Amish family. But uh, thank goodness this lady uh, escaped. Good God almighty. Can you imagine? You can only wipe your butt with newspaper. And you can only shower one day a week. No yeah. <laughs> electricity. That means you can't watch Olympics. Because radios take electricity, right? So you can't even listen to the Olympics. No smartphone, no computer, no PlayStation, no, 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 no egg box, no Netflix, no, no Peacock, no Hulu, no ESPN, no UFC, no Jiu-Jitsu. Get the hell out of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Sounds like a horrific life. Brazilian singer, Aries Sa... Ka Ki <laughs> dies after being electrocuted on stage. Ari Sakaki has died at age 35 after Oh Lord, I don't don't laugh. I'm trying not to laugh here. <laughs> oh shit. I'm going to hell. Uh Aries Sakaki has died at the age of 35 after hugging a fan. He received a deadly electric shock after hugging a, f- a wet fan during a concert. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, damn. My man's got zapped. He- Why are you hugging the fan when you sweaty and you got a guitar and there's electricity going on? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Just saying. Monday morning quarterback. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Oh, here's a nice dose of karma. 17-year-old boy steals a cell phone from an elderly man. And as he's running away from the elderly man that he stole the phone from, he runs into the street and is get, and gets hit by a bus <laughs> and dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 17-year-old robbed a 71-year-old man. And uh, apparently as he was running away from the guy he robbed, um, he stepped out into the street and was plowed by a fucking bus. Yo! (laughs) Holy shit. Talk about karma. Jesus Christ. Oh. Damn. Fatally struck by a, a bus. Jesus. Ooh, definitely uh, not a good idea to steal. (laughs) (laughs) People that stress themselves out. A new report is showing that people who stress themselves out or suffer from anxiety are three times more likely to develop dementia. Do you hear me? It is important that we manage our stress and reduce our anxiety as best we can. That way we can have a clean, clear, healthy, functioning mind. Very important. That's why people are like, oh, your skin looks good. Black don't crack. I'm like, no, 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 no. I do my best to not get stressed. Okay. Too stressed to be blessed. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, this is a crazy story. 24-year-old woman survives a bear attack thanks to her plastic hair clip. Uh, 24-year-old lady was running in the Yukon 
where she and her German shepherd ran into not one, not two, but three, not three, but not one, not two, but three, but four, 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 four bears. Ah, <laughs> a pack of fucking cocaine bears, man. I mean, running into an eight foot bear is scary as is because, you know, it's an eight foot bear, right? But four of them motherfuckers, like, isn't this the revenant? Like, they're going to eat you butthole first, man. <laughs> Holy shit, you're dead. You're fucking dead. But thank goodness her German shepherd chased away the female bears. Uh, and she was able to try and run away from the male bear, which was left. And by the time she turned around and tried to hide behind a tree, the bear bit into her head, bit into her head. And the only thing it stopped it from crushing her head was her, her hair clip, her plastic hair clip shattered in its mouth and it scared the bear off. I was like, <gasps> what are the fucking chances? She escaped with, she attempted to play dead, but the bear didn't believe her. Oh fuck. Oh my God. She suffered extensive injuries, including a broken right arm and puncture wounds across her body. Yeah, the bear bit her back and, well, actually, the bear scratched her back pretty good. And, uh, yeah, fucking bit her head and it got the hair clip. Oh, what are the fucking chances? She's lucky to be alive, man. That is insane. That is insane. People do not understand how savage these animals are. Like, people always want to go, oh, we don't like bear hunting. We 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 want to save the bears. Oh, this is what they fucking do. And this lady was just running in the bush. And then four of them, four of them were there. Four adult bears. That is insane. She's lucky to be alive. Her and her dog are lucky to be alive. And anytime I hear about people who go, oh, we don't like bear hunting, save the animals. I'm like, you don't like bear hunting until them motherfuckers are at your door. Until them eight foot things with fucking teeth the size of like six, seven inches long. Them things bite you unless you got a plastic hair clip, apparently. You ain't going to make it. <laughs> you dead, okay? Holy smokes. Uh, speaking of crazy stuff. I politely encourage you to check out this show called TikTok Dance Cult. Uh, it's on Netflix. And it is insane because basically these dancers somehow get sucked up into this like super religious cult of dancing. I mean, it's it's you, your mind will be blown. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? But I was just blown away because usually... Black people don't fall for this. Usually black people were like, uh, no, this is a scam. We out of here. Uh, but there's a, well, I guess because this dancing, they're like, yeah, I can dance. <laughs> of course I want to be the leader of this church. <laughs> so it's about all these dancers who have been scammed by this church. So I politely encourage you to check this out. And I am going to end the show today. Um... I must, I must, I must go and watch the Olympics. <laughs> the Olympics are on and I'm thoroughly excited. Um, but the only thing I, I, I can say that I'm not excited about is I had to pay for the peacock. Okay. This is terrible. I had to pay for the peacock just to watch the Olympics. I searched everywhere on YouTube. There's like 30 second clips of things. And I'm just like, I can't do this. I cannot do this. I need to watch these moments happen. Okay. And I don't want to be trying to watch some 30 second highlight reel of some of the best games I'm going to see in the next two weeks or some of the best matches I'm going to see in the next two weeks. So it's like, nah, we need to see the whole thing. So uh, Sunday morning, I was uh, shaving my dog because he is once again under attack by foxtails. So I was like, that's it. It's enough. The hair's got to go. It's getting caught up. Uh, it's time. So while I, I, finished shaving him and it was like two two thirty in the morning and i said you know what uh let me see what's on about this olympics so i 
I fire up the Olympic machine and gymnastics was on. I was like, I love American gymnastics. Simone Biles is the Michael Jordan of gymnastics. I must watch. I was like, holy shit. I'm watching Olympics at three something in the morning. My eyeballs hurt. I have work in five hours. This is a bad fucking idea. (laughs) So I am tired as hell. I'm going to desperately try and take a quick 20 minute nap while I am uh, watching some Olympox. (laughs) Because I can't stop, man. I'm paying for the peacock. I don't want to, but I'm paying for the fucking peacock for two weeks. And then I'm shutting this thing off. I cannot stand NBC. I do not want to hear another peep about Kamala Harris or any kind of politics going on. I just want to watch my sports and then I'm going to turn this thing the fuck off. So two weeks, you got the peacock and then we, we you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe to Ramble Burrito, rambleburrito.com. Uh, tell a friend, uh, but maybe not about this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to do it for me, folks. I will talk to y'all next week. But until then, this is Ramble for Radio. I'm out. Peace. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You have mental problems. You have some. You need attention. You need something.